He is not here. He has risen, just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. That comes from Matthew chapter 23, verse 6. Hi, Miss Justine here. And today I'm going to be reading a story from our devotional. It looked like all hope was lost. Everything God had promised, everything God had been doing, all seemed to be over. Was it all a mistake? Had Jesus' followers believed a lie? Taking Jesus' body, a man named Joseph wrapped him in a cloth, then placed him in a cave used for a grave. Afraid the disciples would try to steal Jesus' body and tell everyone he was risen, the Romans rolled a large stone in front of Jesus' grave and sealed it. Then they placed guards in front of it. But this was no match for heaven, no match for God's work in the world. God was far from done. On the third day, two women came to visit the grave. The earth began to shake. An angel of the Lord had appeared and rolled away the stone. Light exploded in every direction. I know you're looking for Jesus, said the angel. He was crucified, buried, and now has risen. Look, he is not here. The angel told the women to go and get the word out. Go tell the disciples death had been defeated. Filled with inexpressible joy, they ran toward Galilee. They couldn't wait to tell the disciples. I just love the story of Easter. It gives me so much hope. In your Lent in a bag, you'll find an Easter egg. Do Easter eggs remind you of Easter? They sure remind me of Easter. In fact, we just had a great big Easter egg hunt at church. But when you think about Easter, do you think of more than just eggs filled with candy? Go ahead and open your Easter egg. It's empty. That's right. It's to remind us that the tomb was empty. Remember, Jesus is alive. And because he is alive, we too can have new life in him. You may want to go ahead and reread Matthew chapter 28. Well, remember that you are not alone, that God cares for you, and so do we. Happy Easter!